Good day guys. How important is the storage space in our logistics operation? Space is very critical and how can we cost effectively optimize the storage space cost effectively and efficiently? So a good warehouse layout is a hallmark of good warehouse space management is when the layout allows you for ease in stock picking easier to stock pick ease in packing and shipping of orders now I will share to you 8 tips for space optimization this will not cost you even a single dollar even you're in America, South America, Europe, wherever you are, I just want to share 8 tips that we have done to an American company that is operating locally here in the Philippines. Usually they focus on expansion, vertical expansion, high rise using the automated storage and retrieval systems. But I will give you that you will use the same layout, the same storage space without cost usually we have to expand in our company we're maintaining 1000 square meters size of a warehouse floor space our target sales before our sales was 2 billion pesos now the marketing department is aggressive to double the sales target from 2 billion pesos to 4 billion pesos for the whole year therefore if you double the target sales the raw materials will increase also will double as well the warehouse space for finished products will also increase because you increase the sales we will buy more raw materials and the production department will produce bigger volume than before so we need to increase the space but we did not do that First, we have to increase the sales volume without increasing the warehouse space. What are the eight tips that I did and I have done and I will explain it one by one. First, as a logistics manager, I did collaborate with purchasing department and suppliers as well. I will explain why. Number two, proper planning and scheduling of inbound and outbound. That is my job. Number three, monitor the outbound shipments because you're monitoring the date as well as the volume that will decongest the warehouse. And we advise all suppliers to submit ASN or advanced shipment notice that will aware us the volume and the characteristic of, of the items that will come in number three and the best oh this is number five cross docking cross docking in our PO if it is for production sometimes they deliver 10 trucks of chemicals 10 trucks of spare parts so we advise that the item should be delivered directly to end user because the end user has bigger space they are the production department cross docking even in finished products we can do this from supplier A will deliver directly to customer B instead of putting it inside the warehouse and then double handling it to customers number six learn to expedite and the expedite this is number six why is the expedite okay we receive advanced shipment notice from suppliers and based on our purchase order there is the delivery date if the delivery date is on monday let's say september 20 27 monday so we have to the expedite instead of monday supplier can you deliver it on friday because our warehouse is full 
we negotiate, we collaborate with purchasing as well with finance people because our agreement with suppliers, they expedite deliveries for inbound but you cannot de expedite payment. If it is 30 days, you have to pay. So, the terms of payment is working, active, but the materials and the products are still within the warehouse of the suppliers and vendor. So, learn to collaborate and negotiate for the expediting. So, instead of delivering it for inbound on Monday, can you deliver it on Friday this week? So, we have four days to decongest. Expedite. Outbound should be expedite. We call the customers, dealers, and wholesalers. Instead of delivering it on Friday, can we deliver it on Monday advance? Can we deliver it in advance? So, instead of the customers or delivering it on Friday, we will deliver it on Monday so the warehouse is decongest and we have free space. Therefore, that is the time that the inbound shipments can come in. So, we have vacant space of 50%. So, we can accommodate more suppliers for their deliveries. Expedite and the expedite. One more thing. We have the distribution system and we have the manufacturing or assembly plant. Okay. We also the expedite with our own production department. Production department has bigger space than our warehouse. So with the expedite, please don't deliver it to us. We will pick it up once the supplier, once the customers came in, we will go direct to the production department. The production department will become the outbound shipments. They will go directly to production. So the items in the production, we will just sign for the receipt and then deliver and the suppliers will pick it up or our truck in the distribution department will load the items from the production, not from the warehouse. So direct from production to end consumer, dealers or wholesaler. We live in the same compound. So we try to check all other vacant space. And of course, proper stock arrangement is critical. So guys, I hope you have learned a lot with these 8 tips from my practical experience that I have done with an American companies here in the Philippines. Not only one company. I have done it also to some of my clients. So the 8 tips for space optimization that I have given you is cost effective and of course efficient. Thank you very much for learning. Please subscribe. See you again on my next video.